Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwa mia sa alo. Kwa holo yimla, yahawo, bahasim, yahwisai, bahasim, rikha hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who do rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say, throughout the world, the Akiyam and Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hananawa. It's coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that He exists, or the existing one. And the true name of His Son, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is Yahweh Shai, which means He's the Savior. Or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. You gotta know those names. Those names are very important. Um, because white Jesus is an idol. There was no no such thing as a Jesus when the Lord walked the earth, because there was no letter J then. There was no letter E, no letter O, no letter U. None of those letters are in the Hebrew alphabet. The letter J was invented in 1524. So we know that they wasn't calling him Jesus. That's some uh, made up shit by these these so-called white people. And he's not some blonde haired, blue eyed white guy. Right. If he was walking the earth today, he would be a, a very dark, melanated man or a Negro. Right. But anyway, I wanted to touch on this article. Um, Eve, I'm, I'm, this got to be an E. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I'm thinking this is Northern Kingdom E. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, just the wickedness of this woman is retarded, man. It says woman wills dead uncle and to bank to sign off on twenty five hundred your alone in chilling footage. <laughs> you can't you can't make this type of stuff up, man. That's why when we let me get this one. Let me go off into this real quick. See, this is how we know that we're in the last days. We do these lessons to show our people that we are in the last days, man. You can't get around this type of um stuff like this. This right here is entitled The Dangers of the Last Days in a New Living Translation. Difficult times will come in the King James. So this is 2 Timothy 3, and this is talking about the last days, what will be going on. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own, for men shall be lovers of their, their own selves. Covetous, see that? Covetous, man, wanting, you know, just, just gotta have people shit, just gotta have everything, you know, that, that covetous spirit that, that it, it, it sends you into like a, a thievery type of spirit, man. Robbery, man. Okay, it says boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Where's, where's the womanly natural affection when it comes to, okay, this is your uncle. He done passed away. You're going to roll him into a bank and try and take what, you know, what, what, you know, just, you know, take what, take from his savings, you know, type of dude. That shit is crazy, bro. That's without natural affection right there. Truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce. Hey, actually, that's pretty damn fierce, too. Despisers of those that are good. Traitors. I mean, that's a, we can even say she's a traitor there, man. Heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Because, you know, you have to be, she, that's some carnal shit. What you got, what, what you got to get so bad that you would, you would try and pull something like that off, Right? It says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. So we know that these are last days um, checkpoints, so to speak. When you see people acting like this and people acting like this on a grand scale, man, this is some everyday shit with people. People done got to a point of you. I mean, just when you think you done heard it all type of deal, man, you know, something like this pops up. I don't know how she was thinking she was going get, to get, get away with something like this. Let's read some of it. It says, a woman has been arrested after she allegedly wheeled her dead uncle into a bank to get him to sign off. How you going to get him to sign off on some shit he did? 2500 And ain't even a lot of money. Loan under her name. <laughs> bank staff, suspicious of the pair, recorded footage and immediately called the medical and police assistance as the woman was seen propping up the lifeless uh, parishioner's head, urging him, uncle, are you listening? You have to sign it. I can't sign for you. Like you, I mean, you think everybody fucking, how, how could you think people in the bank that stupid? People in the bank, they, they really, you know, they, they really are into detail. <laughs> they see one letter off on the check. They see one letter off on your ID. 
You know, they 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 check they they checking everything. It's a bank, do doofy. It says, upon the upon arrival at the at the bank branch located in Bangu, a neighborhood in Western Rio de Janeiro, paramedics pronounced Paulo Roberto Braga, 68, had died a few hours earlier. Arrested at the scene, Erica D. Souza Vieira Nunes. Yeah, I'm thinking it's Northern Kingdom. Claimed to be both his niece and care. Authorities are now suggesting Braga and, and Nunes could indeed be related and are currently reviewing CCTV recordings inside and outside of the bank to ascertain whether she acted alone or with possible accomplices. Raising suspicion of organized fraud. Autopsy re reports or results to determine the cause of death haven't been publicly released yet. This shit is, re look at this lady. This shit is re retarded, bro. How you, how you, I, I, I mean, bro, how can you be this fucking stupid? But you know what, though, that's some spirits that's on her. Because she's even going to be sitting her dumb ass. She probably sitting her, well, what the fuck was I thinking? Nope, them spirits was, uh, had, overtaken, had overtaken her, man. It says a video released by local press depicts the, the accused nudging her so-called uncle to clutch <laughs> the, pen, the pen tighter as she helped him hold it between his fingers, coercing him to sign a piece of paper placed before him next to his photo ID with his name displayed. The video showed the dead man's head swaying back and forth before she grabbed hold of his neck with her left hand from behind. She urged him, sign here and stop giving me a headache, but was met with but was met by silence from the man she was pretending to have a conversation with. The bank worker witnessing the scene replied, I don't think this is legal. <laughs> he doesn't look well. He's very pale, prompting Erica to reply. He's like that before she told the dead OAP, if you're not well, I can take you to the hospital. Do you want to go to the hospital again? Incredible, bro. The incident happened yesterday afternoon. One social media commenting on the footage said human beings have no limits. This is inhumane. Another added. This is so sad. It makes my heart hurt. Police chief Fabio Luis confirmed after the arrest, Mr. Bagger was already dead when he was wheeled into the bank. Miss, Miss Lu, Mr. Luis said the investigation is continuing to identify other family members and to find out if he was alive when the loan was arranged and when it dates from and when it dates from local reports said the loan was for 17,000 Brazilian reals the equivalent of around okay 2,500 euros or whatever anyway man this shit is stupid as hell I ain't even got to go into the comments uh let me let me get um let's go into the apocrypha real quick retarded bro but this is the times that we're living in our people don't you know people don't have that affection no more as a matter of fact let me let me get this one first. And this is one of the things that Yahweh Shah spoke of in Matthew 24. Also, last day's indicators. Matthew 24, let's just get to the point, verse 12. Because the disciples asked the Lord what will be happening in the end days. You know, in verse 3. Like, what's going to be happening before you're coming? This is one of the things that the Lord said that will be going down. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. It's so much sin in the world that 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 the love that people used to have that, that shit is it's done. It's done. You thinking that you know hey, your your family member can turn on you in an instant. And the scriptures talks about how you know pretty much the people that's gonna give well at least us as far as Israelites you know they the ones that's gonna give you the most problems is gonna be the, the um, you know the people of your own house basically man your parents your you know your your siblings your your cousins aunties uncles. You know, you're living in a very wicked, in very wicked times, man. Matter of fact, let's get that Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So you're supposed to be, you know, being circumspect and watching what's going on. That's why the Lord said to watch and pray. What are we watching for? Shit like this. From bad weather patterns to World War Three talk to MOTB talk, Mark of the Beauty and the Beast talk. Hey, we we seeing all that. We know that we are in the times that the Lord was speaking of, man, just by the prophecies um, lining up. Second Edges 9 and 1, it goes off into measures all the time diligently. 
How do you measure the time? You put these scriptures along with this the, this news and shit that's going on out here, man. Anyway, let's go. Um, you want to go to the Apocrypha real quick. Ecclesiasticus, I think it's, uh, let's see. Chapter 25 and 26 kind of goes off into the young ladies, man, so to speak. Or the women. Mm, let me see. I think it's up here. Yep, 13. Ecclesiasticus 25 and 13. It says, give me any plague, but the plague of the heart and any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman. That goes hard right there. <laughs> that goes hard right there. I'm telling you, this whole chapter damn near goes off into the wickedness of a woman. The next chapter, um, chapter 26 as well. Um, I mean, it's just a. Hey, it just is what it is, man. And, and, and check out what King Solomon said. Let's see. Uh, I think it's in, uh, let's see. Well, Ecclesiastes 7 and 28. Let me go off into it. Uh, we got to get a little bit more. Um, let's see here. I'm going to start at verse 25. Ecclesiastes 7 and 25. I applied my own heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. So our, you know, Lord, you know, or King Solomon, if you have ears to hear, that was Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation, basically. And a, he a, he had wisdom on all levels, man. It says, and I find more bitter than death, the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleases Yahweh shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this have I found, see if the preacher counting one by one to find out the account. Which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, hey, man. <laughs> I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec. I mean, you can't, you have to, you have to, you have to see that we're in the last days, man, just by that, that unnatural affection, that, that, that love of many waxing cold. That's a part of the prophecies, man. Look at the news. I mean, shit, well, I can't even. I ain't even got to say. Look at the news. You, you, you know, you can. It, it, I don't care what social media feed you in. You can. You can see all kinds of weirdo shit in the Facebook, TikTok, even just the regular news break app. Now, man, they got um all kinds of um shorts and videos of people out here doing all kinds of heinous shit, man. A lot of the major heinous crimes that's been going on as of late have been women against their children and children. Against have a deal i mean uh, against their parents a lot of close family member type domestic violence been going on man because that love of many is waxing cold people don't care no more man and that's a major indication so just think if it's like this now think what it's going to be like when all hell break loose when there's no 911 to call that's why we tell our people you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have to repent, man, to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. And let me get this one, too. I mean, you know, we're, we're living in those days. It's about time to get the hell out of here. Isaiah 32 and 9, it says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Get ear into my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless, ye, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins, which means to repent, man. Because the days are, 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 are very evil right now, and they're about to become even more evil. And you're the weaker vessel. So when things really hit the fans, you want to be under the protection and covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And a man of the Lord, for that matter. You know what I'm saying? Because the man is really your covering. By the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because the Lord is our covering. And you have that order. You have the Father. You have the Son. 
You know, the father, Yahweh, then his son, Yahweh Shai, which the word ignorantly calls Jesus. And then you have the man, then you have the woman, then you have the children. That's the order that the Lord set up, which is all out of order right now. That's why the world is, 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 is you know, rolling in the rotation that it is right now. But hey, I just wanted to touch on this real quick, man. Be circumspect out here, because when you got shit like this going on, you have to know that we at the end. It can't be much longer, man. She's literally looking stupid as hell. She just, I mean, come on, bro. <laughs> looking doofy as fuck, bro. I, oh, man. You got. Anyway, with that, call me on show.